Hi everybody, Matt Giles again coming to you from South Carolina Children's Theater. We promised you last week uh, for a weekly update. We gave you one last week. This is our second weekly update. Uh, we're thrilled to give you some news on what's happening here at the Children's Theater and, and uh, just some updates on what's going on. This is the only way we can connect right now virtually. We hate that. We're so sad about it, but it's better than nothing, right? So a couple of things. We, last week we talked about our uh, May Mester, our four weeks of classes for the full four weeks of May, $50 for all four, for all four weeks. They're 40 minutes a session. They're held via Zoom, so they're virtual classes. You can still sign up for those. They start next week, so sign up quickly. We're running out of slots. If you want to, uh, you can go to our, our, our website, schildrenstheater.org, and see what all we have to offer, something for every age group. We'd love to have you a part of our, our, our May Mester classes. Summer camps, we are still discussing every week what to do about summer camps. We're monitoring the situation closely. We're talking to all of our contacts in the city, in the county, everywhere we can. Uh, we're just not prepared to make that decision just yet. Our plan, though, is to make a rolling decision, right? To sort of decide as we can, as, as the summer goes along, what we can do. So we're committed to, uh, by May 11th, to announcing our decisions on those first two weeks of summer camps. So by May 11th, we will have a decision for the weeks of June 8th and the weeks of June 15th. You can still sign up for these camps. Uh, we will, if, if, if you'd like to, and we'll just be making decisions as we go, what we can do, and we're planning a whole host of things around all of that. Uh, so, so just stay in touch with us and stay, stay, stay informed, and we'll, we'll let you know as soon as we can about summer camps. Cat in the Hat, we are planning on having a decision about Cat in the Hat. That was slated to be our first full production in our brand new space. Uh, and it's slated for, for late July. Still having a lot of conversations about that. We are planning to have a, have a full, a firm decision made next week. So stay in touch, uh, stay, stay informed again with us and pay attention. We'll let you know as soon as we have a decision there, um, what we're gonna do with, with, with that production as well. We, uh, we are all looking for something to look forward to. I know that, I know I am. I'm looking forward to getting an opportunity to be creative again and be in rehearsal and work with our actors and have audiences in this beautiful space. So uh, one of the things you can look forward to is our next season. We were slated to go on sale with our season subscriptions on Friday. We've postponed that for obvious reasons. So that'll be, uh, that'll be happening down the road, but you can still go to uh, our Facebook page. We've announced our season. Uh, it's a really great uh, a, a slot of shows. We're super excited about that. So as soon as we can open those subscriptions up to, sale, uh, to sell to all of you, we will do so and you can subscribe and come be a part of all the magic that happens here at South Carolina Children's Theater next year. Uh, once we're on the other side of this, because there will be an other side of this, and we cannot wait to see you once we're there. Uh, so last week, I asked for some questions. I said, if you have any questions, shoot them in. We'd love to talk to you and answer some questions on these weekly updates. We had a great one from Anna. Anna asked, I am shy, and I don't really want to be in a play, but I like theater. Is there something else I can do? And Anna, that is a great question, and the answer is absolutely. When you come to the theater and you sit in the audience and you watch the actors perform, you are only seeing a small portion of what it takes to produce a play. There are people backstage who are helping with costume changes, who are helping with set changes. There are people sitting in the booth making sure the lights come on at the right time, the sound happens at the right time. There are a whole host of backstage opportunities that you can be involved in, if you, even if you don't want to be on stage. So theater is not just for performers, it is for directors, it's for designers, it's for crew people, it's for all sorts of people, stage managers who want to be involved, who don't always love being on stage. So don't let the fact that you, you feel shy and you don't love being in front of people, don't let that you know, scare you away from coming to the theater and getting involved, because there are plenty of ways for you to be involved for everything that we do here at South Carolina Children's theater even if you don't want to be on stage so all right that's it for our second weekly update uh, please if you have more questions shoot them to us email me matt at schildrenstheater.org message us on facebook give us a call we'll answer some more questions next week looking forward to talking to you then until then stay safe stay hopeful and we can't wait to see you again soon thanks so much